Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And to all of my returning OGs, what's up, y'all? So welcome to February 2020, yeah? A very, very happy birthday to all my Aquarians out there. And I also want to wish a happy birthday to the February Pisceans. We will be moving into your season next, yes? So um, with that said, I do want to mention, first of all, I want to say that this is the intro and you will find a, um, a timestamp pinned in the comments section that will get you straight to the reading. So if you're watching multiple readings and you don't want to listen to the intro over and over again, you can use that timestamp. I do recommend, however, that everybody listen to the intro at least once because there is some information that you may really need or may be privy to, may want to be privy to, that you would miss had you not listened to the intro. Yeah. So with this being Aquarius season, I do want to mention that the reading for Aquarius could very well be a collective energy, a collective reading. However, it is intended to be for those who are looking for guidance, guidance for the sign of Aquarius because we are in that season. I do feel like this could be a reading for you generally. So maybe you might want to watch that reading just to see how it applies to you and what it could mean for your life moving through Aquarius season, just like I did with Capricorn last month. Um, even though I did mention that maybe I wanted to do a separate reading so that your readings don't get hijacked with collective energy. Hi <laughs> um, it didn't necessarily happen that way this month. I'll see. Um, but if you guys if you guys find that you know you might want an actual reading please let me know for the month of, or for the season that we're moving in i would love to know i'd love to hear that from you yeah um okay so these these readings are general and they are timeless so because they're general readings um you know just take what resonates everything is not going to resonate for everyone and this may not even be the reason for you if if you're hearing listening to this and it's just not fitting it's not making sense then please don't try and fit anything into your life that doesn't belong there naturally okay and also keep in mind that this is a general reading i'm channeling for thousands of people so um you know not everything is going to necessarily resonate with you all the time okay so just keep that in mind also these readings are timeless so just because it is dated for the month of february and i'm channeling energies for the messages for the month of february for you it doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you during the month of february this could be messages that come forward to you that spirit wants you to know at this time but it's not something that doesn't actually manifest or happen for some time down the road okay so just keep that in mind i am available for private readings all the information is found in the description box below this video um, you can also find me on uh, social media. I'm on Facebook at Divine Conversations 2711. I'm also on Instagram at Divine underscore Conversations. I do welcome you to reach out to me there. However, if you are looking to book a personal reading, I do not recommend that you use Facebook. Um, I don't even really recommend that you use Instagram. However, Instagram is a more viable option. I am able to get to the messages more quickly, but my dm situation is just full of all kinds of messages so there's still a possibility that i might miss your inquiry and with that said even if you were to say to reach out on instagram for a personal reading i'm still going to defer you back to email so if you would like to get a personal reading with me check the description box below my email can be found there along with all of the readings that i offer their description and their prices and then email me directly. My email address is divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. But again, that can be found in the description box. Again, I am going to, even if you were to reach out on Instagram, I am still going to defer to your email address because I would at least need your email address to send you an invoice for the reading. So you're better off just skipping a step and emailing me, emailing me directly and I'll get you set up for a personal reading. Yeah? Cool. So the Oracle deck that we're using for this month is the Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. I really, really enjoyed using this this um, this deck this month. Um, it was a deck that was provided by a viewer. Thank you so much for sending this in. I really appreciate it. For those of you that are interested in donating Oracle decks or Tarot decks that you would like to see used on the channel, I do have a PO box that the information for that can be found in the description box as well. Um, if you are going to send a tarot or oracle deck, you might just want to email me really quick and really and check in to see if I have that deck yet, um, so that you know we're not you're not kind of wasting money sending a repeat deck. Okay, um, but the one thing I want to say about this deck is that 
uh, of this Oracle deck is that the author speaks in first person kind of often. So just keep that in mind when I'm saying, when I'm reading through the, the, the definition on the, in the book and I'm speaking, I'm saying things like I, it's coming from the perspective of the author herself. Okay. It's not me speaking personally. It's the author and her narrative. It's sometimes it's in the first person, but it's great. I mean, it still worked really well. The messages were beautiful for that. So I'm excited to, for you to guys, for you guys to see them. And for those of you that are new to the channel and are wondering, I'm not the type of reader that's looking into the situation to be nosy. My intention with these readings here is to bring forward the best messages for you that you need to hear at this time so that you can make a better decision for your life moving forward so that you can have a greater opportunity to be more discerning for your life and for the where you want to go and potentially what could be coming on down the pipeline for you. If at any moment you find that the, something is resonating with you and you don't quite like the way that sounds, you don't want to continue manifesting with that or manifesting that, you have the opportunity to change that manifestation by changing your thought process, then changing your beliefs and changing your alignment to the situation, okay? So just keep in mind, for those of you that are here trying to snoop, trying to get into people's minds, thinking that I'm trying to get into somebody's head, I'm not your guy, all right? There are plenty of people that are out here that may be doing that, but I'm not here for that. Also understand that I do not base my channelings on love specifically. If love comes out, then love comes out. I am not resistant to that. However, if you're looking for specific love readings, then this is probably not the, the channel for you. I do have moments where I will do uh, you know, a love live session here or there, but ultimately the focus of my channel or the focus of Divine Conversation is to bring you greater guidance and understanding about, well, to bring you greater guidance, of, or, I'm sorry, <laughs> to bring you greater understanding about what is going on in your life, the energies that are surrounding you, and then bringing you guidance in, in terms of handling those energies and making the best decisions for yourselves. Yes? Okay, I believe that's it. So without further ado, let's get to it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Mwah. Hey there, Libra. This, welcome to your reading for February 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's get straight into this here. Your pre-shuffle energies are fairly positive, I would say. We have the King of Wands in reverse with the Ten of Swords, overall energy, Page of Pentacles. And what I hear with this, Libra, is turning over a new leaf, or someone here is turning over a, a new leaf. This could go one of two ways. Either you are some sort of masculine individual, whether you're a man, physical, physically male, or physically f female, um, but energetically, you resonate as a masculine dominant energy or entity. Um, and <laughs> I'm just going to be point blank about this. The first thing I feel or the first thing I pick up is there is an energy of releasing some sort of fuck boy or fuck girl status potentially or if it's not that um to release some sort of extreme selfishness maybe even narcissism now this could be you the individual that has been expressing this type of energy or it conversely it could be you as someone that has constantly been attracting these types of energies into your life either way something this this king of wands energy king of wands in reverse energy is being released from your life this cycle is closing out here with the ten of swords and there is a new reality at hand or there's a new life that you're starting you're starting over you're starting from scratch you're maybe even reinventing yourself but um and that re that energy of reinventing yourself i would totally see as the page of wands however we have the page of pentacles here and to me this feels a lot more practical it feels a lot more sincere it's like someone is it's more than just a thought. It's more than just a, a feeling. It's more than just, you know, a, a, an option or a goal or, you know, something someone is trying to do eventually. The page of, of pentacles here represents someone really stepping forward into this process, taking it seriously, committing to it, making this actual change. Again, whether it's you are the person that would, was um, uh, uh, expressing this 
extremely egocentric, extremely selfish, or strongly narcissistic energy, or you are the person that is releasing these types of individuals from your life, these types of energies from your life. And that would be because you are closing out the cycle. You have learned the lessons here from experiencing um, this, this type of this type or these types of situations and now you're moving on moving forward to greener pastures <laughs> so to speak okay that's really good libra that's really really good all right so let's get into the rest of the situation here for you let's see what else is, is coming out for you for the month of february what else Oh, see, look at that. Looky, 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 Libra. Now you have the Ten of Pentacles. And for me as a reader, the Ten of Pentacles is the official lesson learned card. Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles is about longevity, is about family, career, uh, legacy, uh, finances, sure. But in a more spiritual sense, I see the Ten of Pentacles as a, a life lesson completed. You could see this as an energy of, um, you know, graduating from one course to another, especially with the page of pentacles, or I'm sorry, uh, graduating from one course, from one course to another, or at least being ready to graduate. Okay. So ultimately like you, like you could see this as either you're at graduation right now, or you just finished your final exams. It depends, you know, this is a general reading. So people are in different, uh, different spaces in their journey. Okay. Of course. But so, um, Oh, I feel like I was going to say something else, but okay, I've lost it. But I think I think the, the message has gotten across. But here, Ten of Pentacles, lesson learned, time to... Oh, especially with the Page of Pentacles that came out also, also, that Page of Pentacles is now that you being in that energy of that level up or in that next step. So with the Page of Pentacles, it's very much an energy where someone may be trying to find their footing, okay? I do see the Page of Pentacles as an... And looky here, now we have strength for you, but I do see the Page of Pentacles as, wow, Libra, um, you know, that level up or that, that energy of being in a new level, being in a new energetic space, maybe even a new physical space and very much being out of your comfort zone, sure, trying to find your footing, but it's okay because you're you're brand new to the system. So any like th that's the newbie card for me, okay? And everybody's gonna be a newbie at some point. You know, you just have to follow through and keep working with it and gaining your strength and understanding of this new level so that you can gain your footing. And it, it, with that comes a level of commitment to whatever it is you're doing. Okay, that's great. And now you have strength with the wheel of fortune. So I'm strongly what I'm getting with this for you, Libra, is that um, you're having the strength to hold your own while karmic energies subside, while karmic change happens, while the, while you move towards this next cycle. There is a lot of completion here, Libra. You first had the Ten of Swords, then you had the Ten of Pentacles, and now you have the Tenth card in the Major Arcana, which is the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, this is this is a major major life cycle this is really someone really turning a new leaf and 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 turning over a new leaf and m making something new having completed a cycle a lesson learned and really moving forward confidently okay you even have the the uh, hanged man at the bottom of the deck there is a major massive change in perspective here for you or for someone maybe someone you're connected to or maybe it's you libra again this is a general reading but um and this could be something that you were really stuck in for a long time, but now you see, now you see it clearly. Now you have some sort of, now you have, um, you know, a change in perspective. And it's that change in perspective that you needed to really close out this cycle and really change the karmic energy surrounding you, change the, the karmic uh, destiny that you were moving towards, having been in all that energy in the past. Okay, this is really beautiful, Libra. I really like how this is turning out for you so far. All right, so let's get into the rest of the reading here for you and see what we've got. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Librans, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of February 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Libra, I'm going to give this five shuffles here for you. So one, and as I'm doing that, I want to explain what I'm seeing. Uh, um, this is shuffle number two. So I'm seeing green for you. Um, and to me, that's what, what, is, what Spirit is saying through that um, is, this is three, is that whomever I'm 
whoops, whomever I'm channeling for here has really entered into the heart space or a heart space reality, heart space consciousness. Um, and f it does feel like this is fairly new for you. Okay, that makes sense. This is four. Um, I think this is four. Good Lord, I've lost count. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to go... This is five or at least the last shuffle. Um, but it's really like you've entered into a heart space reality. Heart space consciousness. Um, and this really could be something very new for you, especially with that page of pentacles energy. But ultimately, you'll gain your footing. I'm going to give this one more shuffle. I mean, I lost count, but it doesn't matter. This feels right. So we're going to go with that. Okay. All right. Overall energy for you, Libra. <laughs> okay, looky here. We have the Nine of Cups. This is a really good thing. This feels like a very satisfying energy. It also kind of feels like someone is kind of settling in into some sort of satisfaction or understanding or knowing that they're they're really about to get a lot of good things returned to them in life. Um, it feels like this is an energy where you're settling in and just it's been a really tough or a long battle and okay so you may not have the ultimate payoff right now that in wish fulfillment that could potentially be represented by the star but at least you're satisfied having gotten this far and and i do feel like there, there is a there is a certain level of awareness here um to varying degrees this is a general reading so take it as it resonates but there is a level of awareness here of completion a job well done of an ending even and it's very satisfying even though you may not be fully where you want to be it's like knowing that this this karmic cycle has closed out for you is grad is, is satisfying enough and you could be in a very um a very strong energy or space of gratitude if, if and you may want to focus on your gratitude here in terms of the the, the fact that you know you're, you've completed a cycle but then also be very grateful or work on being consciously grateful for everything that that cycle has taught you because you have learned a lot okay and come pretty far there you go libro after underneath the nine of cups is the six of wands okay there's a level of recognition here there, and what i'm kind of healing i'm feeling or hearing is that you know if if regardless of whether others may be recognizing this or acknowledging this acknowledging this within you you should be acknowledging this within yourself give your go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back because you've really come very very far this is a very deep or strong victory for you libra underneath the six of wands holy moly there you are justice whoa libra this is big this is really big underneath justice is the nine of wands yeah this has been a really hard fought hard won battle there may still be a little bit of an energy of um you feeling like you need to to look over your shoulders because it's almost as if you're still under this conditioning of like whether like the devil this devil energy that i'm kind of that's kind of what i'm seeing um it's this devil energy that whatever this cycle you've closed out for yourself is um that could like pop up out of nowhere you just you kind of like mm, i don't know is that still gonna pop out is it still like is it, uh, it maybe it's not quite over yet i mean you do have two nines however so you could be in this current moment you could be um, um, at the very end of this cycle. And what we were talking about in the pre-shuffle was the energy of you. That's what's coming next, the completion of everything. Okay, so you may still be in an energy of kind of looking over your shoulder a little bit, kind of a little bit on that strong defensive about the situation. It may not, it may be that it's not quite the energies are not quite out of your system just yet or out of your energetic field just yet however don't worry about it because you're well on your way to closing that out like literally you can't go backwards from here well I don't want anyone to feel like you're you're at risk of slipping back into i mean maybe that's why that nine of wands is there maybe you should you really do kind of need to you know still keep your wits about you and make sure that you don't really start slipping back but i don't really see that as what's going to happen here especially if you've been working really hard um and you've come this far i don't really think that you're going to allow yourself to slip back into that those habits so that might just be a fear of yours but with this nine of wands um but okay, keep your wits about you, keep your defenses up, but also make sure that you rest, okay? Because you deserve it. All right, Libra. 
Let's get into the rest of your reading here. So first half, second half of your reading, you could look at this as the first half or second half of your month. Take it as it resonates, yes? First set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your month, Libra, we have the 10 of wands. There is yet another 10. Here comes the completion, Libra, okay? So right now you might still be carrying some of these burdens. You may still feel like you're carrying some of these burdens. Um, especially with the nine of wands being the last card of your overall energy here. Um, it, the next step would be for you, the 10 of wands. And, and I feel like that was, that would be when you reach this 10 of wands energy, or maybe you're in that 10 of wands energy right now, this is the moment where you can decide how much of whatever it is you have been carrying that you want to let go of. And it could very well be that you want to let release all of these 10 wands, all of these burdens. So you're in this nine of wands energy right now where the cycles are closing out. The completion is starting to come into play. The actual completion is going to come from you being finally ready, willing, and able to let go of whatever is burdening you or whatever has been burdening you. Okay, 10 of wands is coupled with the six, there you go. The six of swords. I mean, damn. Okay. So yeah. So moving, I mean, moving from rough waters to calmer waters, leaving the past behind, leaving all the turmoil behind, literally leaving the burdens of this 10 of wands, whatever this represents for you, um, of the burdens of this cycle, whatever this cycle is for you, leaving all of that behind and moving on from rough waters to calmer waters, moving on to something that is much more beneficial for you, much healthier for you, much less burdensome. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the first half of your reading. Oh, the King of Cups. Well, this could be you. I do kind of feel like this is you, Libra. Um, this is this is definitely an energy of emotional security, emotional maturity, um, maybe even being in love, maybe even being getting to a point where you're able to express your feelings. Maybe if you weren't express it before, expressing them before. For others of you, that could be releasing some sort of narcissistic energy or uh, attracting narcissistic types or narcissistic energies into your life, manipulative, egocentric, um, whatnot, whatever. I kind of feel like what you're moving towards now would be a king of cups rather than a king of wands, someone who is emotionally available, someone who is ready to step up to the plate and show you that they love you or, or be that, um, <laughs> that uh, that that balanced and healthy masculine figure in your life if you are say the feminine here <clears throat> and please understand i know that i'm a twin flame reader but when i say masculine and feminine it's not necessarily talking about the twin flame journey everybody has masculine and feminine energies within and in all relationship dynamics there is a level of one in per one person embodying the masculine energy while one person embodying the feminine energy dominantly even though we all have these masculine and feminine energies within okay um so in this case, if you are the individual that is releasing a 10 of wands energy from your life and you're the feminine, you would be, it's like you're trading that, that um, king of wands energy, negatively aspect of king of wands energy for the positively balanced and healthy uh, energy of the king of cups energy. And if you're the masculine here, you are releasing that 10 of wands, that king of wands, that, that narcissistic fuck boy, um, fuck girl, uh, 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 egocentric, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever energy and trading it for this king of cups energy. This is what you're moving towards. This is what the, this is how these are the, the, the burdens that you're releasing and this movement that you're making with the six of swords and the 10 of wands, you're moving towards this king of cups energy. It also conversely could be the king of cups energy that has grown and developed within you. That is now allowing you to release all the burdens of that narcissism and that egocentrism and move forward on some towards something new. King of Cups is coupled with the Hierophant. Uh, someone has learned a great deal here. Whomever, like you have learned a really, a great deal. This could be an energy of you've learned a lot through some sort of toxic masculinity that you are releasing now. There's also an energy of commitment coming through with the Hierophant. The Hierophant can represent commitment. It also represents institutions such as marriage. 
It could be that someone is ready to, if not get married, but like settle down, whatever. It doesn't have to be official marriage, but it's just like a fit, like an energy of officially like settling down maybe with an ideal partner, an ideal mate. If you're the feminine here, I kind of feel like you might be manifesting some sort of marriage or commitment or union of some sort. You don't have to, and you don't have to resonate with marriage. I mean, it's just that, that life partnership energy that I'm kind of, I'm channeling, I'm picking up on here. Okay. That's really good. It's really, really nice Libra. But ultimately, whatever this is, the strongest message that's coming through with the Hierophant and the King of Cups is that, you know, someone has truly learned a lot and truly matured, whether you're the masculine or the feminine here, it doesn't matter. There is definitely a level of learning a great deal, spiritually speaking, coming to a new understanding in the physical life and um, putting that into practice. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Libra, you have the, oh, there's that page of pentacles again. So yes, your challenge right now is to find your footing in this new energy, is to be the apprentice, is to be the um, the newbie even, is to, to learn, come on, you're really not going to focus on me like that? Oh, oh, there you go. Hi. Okay. Anyway, um, to be the, 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 the newbie, really. And that's challenging, sure. It's challenging also because it's taking you out of your comfort zone. You're in a brand new area. You're in a brand new life cycle. But ultimately, this is a good thing. This is a healthy. This is healthy. This is a healthy environment that you're stepping into. Cultivated even, you could say, cultivated by this King of Cups energy. Which would be the emotional maturity and um, emotional awareness. Mm hmm Okay. Page of Pentacles is coupled is coupled with Oh boy, look at that. The King of Pentacles. Okay. So your challenge right now is you are on a journey to get from the Page of Pentacles ultimately to grow into the King of Pentacles. All right. So yes, you're starting a new you're turning someone is turning over a new leaf. And it's going to be a process. It might be slow and arduous, or at least it might feel like it's slow and arduous. I mean, the, the pentacle suit is the slowest moving suit in the whole the whole deck because it's earth. Okay, so earth is very dense and, and whatnot, whatever. It doesn't move very quickly, but um, it doesn't matter. That's not, I mean, that's not important. And that actually could be part of your challenge is, is you know, following through, persevering until you actually do reach this king of pentacles state. Um, what I, there is something specific I want to say. Do not, you don't have to put any element of your life on hold as you're working th through from this Page of Pentacles to this King of Pentacles energy. Just go with the flow. You don't feel like you have. You don't feel like you have to put anything on hold. If there's something that's coming through, some sort of guidance or message that you're getting from like your higher self to take some sort of action in any sort of direction, whatever that may be. Go, go for it. Follow through with it. Don't feel like you have to, you have to like say to yourself, okay, well, yeah, I'll do that, but I'll do that when I reach this certain level. No, if the message or the guidance is coming through, take it in that moment because that's what's right for you at that time. Okay. It's all in service of you developing from this page of pentacles, ultimately into the king of pentacles here. Now, this is heavily masculine dominant right now. So we really could be talking to uh, a masculine individual within the sign of Libra, whether that's your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Jupiter, okay? But keep in mind, this is a general reading. So if you're the fe you're a feminine energy here, whether you're a Libran or a cross watcher, um, and this resonates with you, then take it as it resonates. But I would say apply it to a potential counterpart or maybe even someone that you already are aware of. Okay, closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Libra three of wands you're well on your path you have a good momentum going it's time to continue the, the guidance here is to continue the momentum keep up the good work three of wands you should you could be receiving some serious payoff you know like because the three of wands is not only an energy of being on your path having made a decision and following through with that decision that you've made but also the three of wands is an energy of waiting for a return on an investment and i feel like you're in an energy right now where you are primed and you're waiting for some serious payoff okay 
But in that in that space of you know waiting for your ships to come in, blah blah blah, whatnot, whatever, continue to do the work that you have been doing. Continue to feed into this momentum that you have going here, because it's only going to develop into greater blessings later on down the road. Oh, I just heard in ways that you may not necessarily be aware of right now. Like the like the, that's the surprise of the universe, though. Okay, three of wands is coupled with the world. Excellent. I mean, Libra. I, there's the, I mean, there is so much completion coming through for you here, Libra. You've had the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and then the Wheel of Fortune, which was the 10th card in the Major Arcana. And now you have the official last card of the Major Arcana, which is the world. So this is really talking about a closing out of a major, major overarching cycle, a major life lesson for yourself. And there is about to be some seriously well-deserved rewards that come from this. Beautiful, Libra. This is so, so beautiful. All right. You're, you're getting into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you, Libra. You have the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, damn, this is like, this is such a great reading. Um, so this is the new life. This is a new seed that you have planted. And for some of you, you may not necessarily be consciously aware that you planted this seed so long ago or X amount of time ago, but now it's starting to develop into something. It's like this plant is growing. And some of you, for some of you, this is like a, co an ex a complete shock. Like you're, you're like, I mean, not to say that I'm not happy about it, but like, where the hell did this come from? Well, you planted this seed a long time ago, maybe unbeknownst to your own conscious self. Ah, it could be a situation in which your ego was too far in the way, too much in the way to, to, to perceive of the fact or to allow you to perceive of the fact that at some point you planted this seed with intentions of it growing into exactly what it is today and exactly what it's going to be in the future. Mm-hmm. Ace of Pentacles is coupled with the Two of Swords. That's interesting. This is actually advice. This is an interesting, this is an interesting combination with the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. The advice here, or maybe what your current energy is, as this, as you're moving into this new life, into this new endeavor, into this new energy here, there is a level, there's an energy of needing to remain mentally balanced with the Two of Swords here. It's almost an... Uh, Wow, this is this is one of those rare times where the Two of Swords actually feels like a good energy. It's actually a necessary energy. And especially with the the element of like this woman being blindfolded here, it's like you can't you can't focus on this too much. Um, I'm getting a pot a, a watch pot never boils. You can't go in there and like start pulling at your at your seedling to keep it to make it grow a little more. It's like don't even focus on it. Just just allow it to be. You've planted the seed. It's tangible. You, you you're moving into this new situation. So allow yourself to remain mentally balanced and don't focus too much on too many details because you're only going to be injecting resistance into it. The um. The overthinking element, maybe even worrisome element of Libra is kind of coming through here. You need to not worry so much about the external circumstances. You need to allow the universe to help you with this, but you need to maintain your own sense of mental balance and clarity and not give it too much thought, not give it too much overthinking. Like the moment that you find yourself slipping into an energy of overthinking the situation, cut it out right there, okay? Okay, second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the second half of your reading. Shit, man. Now you have the Ten of Cups. So officially, you have all four tens that have shown up in your reading here. This is a happy family life. This is a happy home life. This could even be you like getting married, having children, starting a family, something like that. Or it's just emotional fulfillment. You reaching this level of either releasing ex your own expression of toxic, narcissistic, and egocentric energies, or you releasing the um, manifestation of those individuals, those types of individuals, or those types of situations in your life, releasing that energy is making, is clearing the way, clearing the space for you to reach that 10 of cups, that, that 
ultimate emotional fulfillment. I mean, even hearing wish fulfillment, dependent on what that is for you. I mean, that's that's going to look for that's going to look different for everybody. However, the Ten of Cups officially is an energy of family and home life. Um, so it could be that for you. It could be this is something that you've actually really wanted for a very long time, but you didn't know how to go about it. You didn't have the maturity, the emotional maturity to to go, to go about it. You didn't you didn't know what to do, what not whatever, but. You, re you releasing and bringing all of this into completion, Libra, is opening the space for you to have this energy in your life. I love that. Ten of Cups is coupled with the King of Swords. Let me tell you, look at you, looky here. Good God. So now you have all four kings that have shown up in your reading here. So we really, we really are speaking to someone, for the most part, we're speaking to someone that is masculine dominant it, that also on the other hand we could be speaking to someone that you know was femininely dominant in the past and now they've really w integrated their masculine energy or you're working from a space of your own masculine energy but here what the ten, what the king of swords with the ten of cups is giving me an energy of is saying look this this ten of cups energy this is what i want and if that's what i want then then I'm going to do the work to clear the space to make sure that I get what I want. So anything that is in my life that is in direct opposition to this energy, sorry, but you're getting cut out. This is an energy of seeing something clearly for what it truly is um, and making an, an executive decision. So with all of this king, uh, all of this king energy that's been coming out here, we actually have someone that it looks like, feels like you're moving into your emperor status the emperor is the king of all kings the empress is the queen of all queens <laughs> this is so awesome libra and this is all in service of justice being served in your life with the overall energy okay so your challenge in the second half of your reading here libra the nine of swords okay so this is where the overthinking is coming into play there's a lot of fear there are a lot of illusions around you but ultimately this is another nine so yes you're at an ending of a situation do not let your fears your doubts your worries stop you get in your way okay they're illusionary anyway libra libra honey you are you are closing something out here okay you've been doing a lot of hard work don't worry about the fears don't worry about maybe your ego flares up your ego may be flaring up saying oh god well okay that's fine i'm clean, completing this but what's coming next like i don't even i can't even see clearly i can't what stop freaking out libra stop freaking out you're in good hands you've done a lot of work you don't need to worry about it your rewards are coming just relax okay nine of swords is coupled with yes two of pentacles yes two of pentacles yes you need to keep the balance here libra just stay balanced physically mentally emotionally okay focus on staying balanced as this cycle closes out for yourself Oh, excuse me, as, as you close this cycle out for yourself or actually as the universe helps you close this cycle out. Closing message or potential outcome, Libra, in the second half of your reading. The Seven of Cups. Okay, this is confusion, yes, but this is also a plethora of options. Given what's going on in this reading for you right now, okay, um, and the fact that you're at this completion point and you're moving towards the next thing in your life, this seven of cups, yes, it might be confusing, but it's also a blessing. It's a beautiful energy because you have so much good coming into your life because of this, all right? So don't worry about the options. Don't worry about the what ifs. Just focus on the now, focus on your alignment, focus on this new energy that you're entering into in your life and allow the universe to bring forward towards you that which serves your highest good should you maintain this new beneficial alignment. Okay. Seven of cups is coupled with the moon. Yeah. You don't see what's coming, but that's okay. Don't let your fears get in the way, Libra. Focus on, uh, uh, focus on your intuition. Work with your intuition. Allow your intuition to guide you. There's a lot of good things coming, Libra. Stop worrying about it. That's literally what I just heard. Stop worrying about it. I mean, you've come this far. You're in really good hands. It can only, really, it can only get better from here. 
So if you're really worried about slipping back into that into that energy again, then all you really need to do is pray and say, God, source, creator, angels, whomever, just help me, help me stay balanced, help me stay grounded. You got this, Libra. You've come this far. So don't worry about it. Okay. This is really beautiful. I'm so happy for you, Libra. Let's get your oracle guidance. Last shuffle here for you, Libra. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of February 2020. What oracle guidance do you have for Libra spirit? Oracle guidance here. For my Libras, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Oh, there it is. That's two, though. Action. You got two, Libra. So I'm going to take them because they're relevant. The, I mean, you have card number 15, which is action. And then you have card number two, which is beginnings. I'm going to, I'm going to take it. We're going to start with, um, we'll start with card number two, just because it's, we'll do this in alpha, uh, numerical order. Beginnings. You are offered a fresh start. Your journey is beginning. Take the first steps towards something new. It is time to place emphasis on your health and well-being. The quote here is, I accept and rejoice in renewal and beginnings. There is something incredibly poetic and even romantic about that tiny sliver of silver that is the new moon. After the, whining, the waning cycle and depth of the dark moon, here is appearing in the sky, incredibly, a crescent of the finest light almost a scratch upon the blackboard of the universe. Here is the evidence that even after the darkest night, light returns again. The crescent of the new moon is an, is an ancient symbol that stretches back to ancient prehistory. There are cave drawings featured crescent moons, I'm sorry, featuring crescent moons, sculptures of goddesses with crescent moon di uh, diadems, and the goddess Aphrodite, Hecate, Diana, Artemis, Inan, Inanna, and many Central Asian female deities were often depicted with, a, with new moon symbology. Go back even further into Neolithic cave paintings where moon and sun symbolically or symbology features with no phase more commonly being depicted than the new moon. When the new moon appears in the lunar cycle, we are gifted with a new beginning and a fresh start. When what we have identified as useless or unneeded anymore has been released in the void of the dark moon, and here waiting is a new chance. Here we get to renew our lives and feel free enough to risk trying again. Whether we are asking for a fresh start in relationships or a new love, or heralding in action of intentions such as better health, a new business, or the start of a new project, riding the new moon energy will assist us. Many creative people start new works on a new moon, and I personally, as an author, like to begin all my new works on this phase, even if, quote, beginning means simply typing up a cover page or outline. The most powerful of new moons for new starts traditionally are within the season of spring. And you're the companion stone or metal with this card or energy is Celestine. So if you want to get some Celestine to help you with this new beginning, I highly recommend it. Finally, Libra, you have card number 15. Waxing Gibbous 6. Action. The time has come to take action. Let go of your paralysis. Let go of your burdens step by step. The... Uh, Quote here is, I am responsive and ready to take action. Sometimes we are afraid to move forward. This is natural. Change can be difficult. And if we have been hurt or have failed before, we are anxious about what may happen if we instigate change. Maybe we think it's easier and safer to just tread some water for a while. Instead of taking joyful action towards the things we truly desire, such as the writing of a book, 
undertaking study, accepting a new job, or seeking a better relationship, we balk, we freeze, we do not take the steps we could. And so we remain stagnant, we don't grow. This moon phase encourages us to embrace action. Action is a part of our humanity. We are not made to hide and refuse to blossom. The companion stone or metal here is rhodonite. Okay, so if you want to, you know, work with some rhodonite to, um, to help you with action that you feel you need to take, I highly recommend it. And it's funny that action comes out here because we were talking so much about masculine energy, whether this is the masculine energy within you or you are more masculine dominant individual, albeit uh, whether you're either man, male or female, doesn't matter, we're talking energy here, but masculine energy is very action oriented. So especially for some of you, like the feminines out there that are really integrating with your masculine energy, it's 1111 right now for me. <laughs> That's so awesome. Um, but for maybe some of the feminines out there that have recently integrated your masculine energy and you're working from a space of, you know, really trying to work through with your masculine energy, maybe even for the first time, Rhodonite could really help you with this action taking energy. But with that said, Libra, Congratulations. I mean, this is such a beautiful, beautiful reading for you. I'm really happy for you guys. Um, okay, so with that, I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to help uh, to to our next reading. Well, I was going to say I look forward to helping you again. So, okay, great. So I look forward to uh, our next reading for the month of March. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.